If you've got the spring cleaning bug but are afraid of tackling one of the biggest projects in your home, the bedroom closets, have no fear. Elaine Griffin, contributing editor for Better Homes and Gardens, is here with some very helpful tips. Good morning, Elaine. Good to see you. Good morning. Overall, what's the best way to organize our closet? Okay, your closet is truly all about you. So <laughs> you want to find a system that works. Here are two to choose from. Okay. Either organize things by color, so you have you know darks, lights, brights, or organize them by garment. Put all of your shirts together, skirts together, pants. Do something gotcha. that you can keep going on for the rest of the year. Okay. You also say there's a good way for us to keep track of what we've worn and what we haven't worn. Exactly. Because, Russ, you are not supposed to keep clothes you haven't worn forever. Stylist <laughs> secret. Keep everything lined in one direction. And every time you wear something, turn it around. Ah, okay. So that way you can see what you're actually wearing and what should go to, you know, give away. Okay. I'm thinking of that scene from Mommy Dearest where no wire hangers. You say that the right kind of hangers are, are very important. It's true. And you shouldn't keep the wire hangers that come from the dry cleaners. Don't keep them. No. Okay. All right. You're supposed to switch your things out to wonderful, practical, multi-garment hangers like mm. these, um, which are really wonderful options if yeah. you have very little storage space. Okay. And these are inexpensive, right? Not at all? Absolutely. We found these at the container store. You could totally trick out your whole closet for under 50 bucks. I like that. Trick out your whole closet. I like that a lot. <laughs> what about shirts? You know, multi-garment hangers for shirts exist too, so you can keep more of them in your closet and they don't wrinkle. Oh Take a look at this. Love that. <laughs> And in terms of organizing other things like our like 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 our ties and things like that, accessories have. make the outfit, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but they can be a nightmare to store. So I love the complement multi accessorizing hanger that we found at IKEA. Right. It's really inexpensive. It's under twenty bucks. You can put your scarves on it. You can put ties. Hard to hang things like sunglasses mm -hmm. or like headbands if you're a little prepster. Yeah. <laughs> it's useful. Okay, well, you know, we all need those. And I see you've utilized the back of the door here as well. Russ, I will tell you that the back of the door in a closet is the most essential piece of real estate there is because it's typically it's three feet of sheer space. You want to use it from top to bottom and from left to right. If you are a bagaholic, uh -huh. like I am, and I'm sure like many of your friends <laughs> I, are too, uh -huh, yeah. um, I love the handy hold it. You know, the handles just snap on. All of your bags face the same direction. And look, we have one, two, three, four. There's room for a couple of more. So okay. I would need three of these. And then for guys, it's wonderful to hang your ties and your belts on a hanger. Um, and you know what? This could also be used for accessories for girls too. Okay, yeah, always good to hang up the ties. You don't want the wrinkles in the ties. Yeah. Shoes in here, you've got a great way of hanging up your shoes. We all have way too many shoes. That's just a fact of life so we can learn to live with it. Mm -hmm. The ones that you wear the most often should be the easiest to get to. So you either want to keep them on the bottom of your closet, but if that space is taken, you want to put them in a hanging shoe organizer like this one. Okay, not that I have this problem, but <laughs> how can you tell what shoes you've worn and what shoes you've have. Just like we do with the clothes, have all of your shoes facing the same direction. Here we have all the toes out. Then when you wear a pair, put them back in the opposite direction. So that way, you know, like, hmm, these aren't, I'm not really wearing that much. Maybe I should relocate them to offsite storage. Uh, offsite storage. Like under that. the bed. You know what it is about the, the closet? I mean, it, it is in the most intimidating room in the house in many ways. It shouldn't be because the secret is getting organized is easy. Actually, staying organized is harder. Okay, do you do house calls or anything like that to, to help out the closet? <laughs> You're so good at this. <laughs> Elaine Griffin, good to see you. Thanks a lot.